We just got a brand new toy for the wood shop. It's my Wren 9 inch bench top bandsaw. Now, we don't use a bandsaw a lot in a shop, but I needed one. And you need a bandsaw in your shop if you do very much woodworking. So I went online, I read the reviews, I looked at the prices. This is the one I chose. So let's open it up, see what we got. Break out our trusty pocket knife. I love opening up new toys. It's my favorite thing in the shop. New tools, like a kid at Christmas. Okay. instruction manual here. We're going to read that. And this looks like a fence. So we'll get to that in a minute. We got a little push fence, a little miter fence. That's great. Uh, miscellaneous things there. This is the table. We're going to have to, it looks like it's got a little oil on it, and that's typical of packing. So we're going to have to clean that up. Let's set that off to the side. Okay, here it comes. quite a heavy little bandsaw. That's going to be nice because that'll make it very stable when we're using it. We'll set this out of the way. What a cute little bandsaw. We'll turn it around like this so you get the Oh, that is going to be such a nice little bandsaw. Let's go ahead and get it put together, and then let's talk about it. Well, we took just a few minutes to put it together. I am uh, very pleased with how easily it went together. It just, I mean, literally took less than 15 minutes to get all of the stuff put together on it. And you now we've got to dial in some adjustments to make sure that it runs true, but let's talk about it so far. One of the things that I like about it, it's got a nice little table and it's very sturdy. I'm going to roll it around the back side here and tip it up. has some adjustments here. The table tilts. It has an exhaust port for, for uh, sawdust. Um, and then this is the little lever that adjusts your table. One of the things that's very nice is it has a safety guard. I'm going to turn it around here so you can see it better. A safety guard so you can adjust your safety guard down over your material to only expose enough blade. That's a nice safety feature. Typical of all bandsaws, but it's very nice to have it on a little bandsaw like this. And then you tighten it back up. One of the things that I thought was so cool was how easy it's going to be to change the blade. You just turn this knob and that opens up your lid to your uh, blade and it's and then you just just a quick turn and it's right back on same for the bottom and we'll be able to adjust and, and change blades very easily not adjust but change blades adjusting right here for the tension on the blade right up on top that's nice and easy on and off switch we have it unplugged of course now here's our little fence we put it on there just to see how it fit Locks down good and tight, front and back. That's a very nice feature because you want, when we're using a fence, we want to be able to have that good and tight. Here's our little miter gauge. Slides in the slot right there. Quick and easy. We were given some instructions here on how to adjust the little bearings. Now, there are bearings, top and bottom, by the blade and that's what holds the blade nice and firm and aligns it so that as you're cutting your blade doesn't wander. 
I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to spend a little time. I want to read the instructions. I want to make sure that I get it dialed in correctly so that it's good and sharp and, uh, or, or stable. Sorry. I get it nice and stable so that we're firm on our blade and ready to cut. And then we're going to come back and we're going to cut a few pieces of wood and see how our little bandsaw does. I'm excited to get ready to use this. I have a project already that I'm thinking about that I want to use this for. Okay, we have completed the adjustment on the bearings. Remember I told you there's bearings top and bottom. They provided us with tools and instructions and the instructions were really good, very concise and easy to understand. I was able to adjust the bearings so now that our blade will be tight and true, we can go ahead and move forward with our cuts. And I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit of the cuts that you can do on a bandsaw. Uh, of course, curves. And by curves, I mean like arches and curves for handles and pieces of furniture. Anything like that that would require a curved cut in a board would be made on the bandsaw. The other things that you can do is you can use it for joinery, dovetails, and tenons. Uh, cross cuts if you wanted to make a cross cut. Uh, one of the other things that you can do is resaw. Now if I were to resaw, just to understand what a resaw is, is if I wanted to take and make two thin pieces out of a board like this, I could stand my board up and run it through the saw like that and split it and that's called resaw. It's really nice if you have a figured piece of wood and you wanted to book match, resaw works really well that way. The other thing that you can do with, with the bandsaw is real decorative cuts, almost like scroll work. Uh, works really well with a bandsaw. The thinner the blade, the tighter the cur curve that you can make. It's just really a very versatile little piece of tools, machinery to have in your shop, and I'm very excited about having it. By the way, we purchased this from Amazon and we're going to provide you a link so that you can also make that purchase because this is a great addition to your shop. Of course we had to do a cut to make sure our bandsaw worked but I just wanted to show you what it does. We're going to adjust our safety guard down to just over the thickness of our wood and tighten it down. There we go. How much fun is that? I'm excited. This is going to be such a neat little piece of machinery to have in our shop and I'm so excited to share it with you and we're going to see you next time on Woodworking with Wes.